Hey, 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 it's Pastor Dave, day 39 in week six of our seven week, seven day a week video teachings. And hey, I got some thoughts for you all today. Uh, my thoughts are about planting seeds. Listen, I, I listen to a lot of teachers in God's word. So I'm not 100% sure where I, where I heard this, but, but I think it was Jesse Duplantis who verbalized something that has really helped me and has transformed my relationship with God in big ways lately. Uh, it might have been Andrew Womack uh, who said it, but I'm pretty sure it was Jesse. But uh, anyway, you know, it, it doesn't really matter because kingdom words, words that come from God, they don't have any copyright. They're all for public access. Amen. So anyways, so Jesse, I believe it was, he, he said that he never ties his faith to a measure of time. He keeps the clock out of the mix, basically. Okay. And if you go to Mark chapter four and in verse uh, 26, it says, so is the kingdom of God as if a man should cast seed into the ground and should sleep and rise night and day. And that seed should spring and grow up. He knoweth not how. Praise God. So I want you to listen, y'all. That verse shows you that you plant the seed and then you have to sleep and rise night and day, right? In other words, you can't plant the seed and then the next morning go out and reap the crop. There's time involved. God's the one who created these laws. And really, that's just how it is, okay? And it's the same thing in the spiritual realm, though. And for some reason, when it comes to things in the spiritual realm, people don't recognize that there are spiritual laws, just the same as there are natural laws in the natural realm. People think, sure, it's okay for the seen things uh, to work that way, but the unseen things, they think that they can manipulate those things because nobody can, can see it. So it should just be whatever they say it should be, right? Listen, that's borderline witchcraft. And it's, it's, it's definitely a, a sorcery way. It's a sorcery way of thinking. And you got to get out of that and do things God's way if you want to see the results that you're looking for. People don't plant a seed. And then the next morning, if they don't see something, they don't dig it up and say, well, it didn't work. Let's move on to the next type of seed. <laughs> right? That just doesn't make sense. They know that time's involved. And it takes, the, it takes the, the right temperature. It takes moisture and things like that. But in the spiritual realm, they think, well, he's God. He could just heal me if he wants to, right? And, and he can... He can, you know, in some circumstances, uh, he, he's willing to do that. We see, and we see those kind of harvests, but that's not the norm every single time, okay? So, so let me ask you this. Have you planted a seed of God's word in you? In Psalms 107, uh, verse 20, it says, He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. And it says in uh, Proverbs chapter 4 that God's word is health unto all of your flesh. There are healing seeds in the word. And you have to take them and you have to plant them in your heart. And there's time involved, right? So right now I'm going through a list of verses, seeds, and I'm memorizing them. I'm putting them in my heart. I'm planting them, okay? Uh, and uh, and they're about who I am to God so that I can plant seeds um, and constantly fertilize them and water them, okay? And the word in my heart is growing and it can do the same for you. It's how you reap a harvest, y'all. Okay, And again, I, I think you can accelerate it at times, absolutely, with your faith and your belief. But you can't stop this thing of seed time and harvest. And most of the time, it's seed time and then harvest. It's not all together always. Okay, And if you're so focused on you got to have an answer right now, let me ask you something. If, if it's going to take a year of you getting the word in you and planted in your heart before you can receive a harvest from God, what are you going to do for the next year? If you're not in the word and you're not starting the process, all that's going to happen is at the end of the year, you're going to just be one year further down the road, okay? Still with no harvest. If it takes a year, if it takes two years, whatever it takes, you just start right now. Take it day by day and make this commitment 
that, that hey, I'm going to take this seed of God's word and I'm going to plant it in my heart. I'm going to read God's word. I'm going to ask questions of it. I'm going to memorize verses. I'm going to reflect and meditate on it, seeking revelation. Okay, that's how you do it. It doesn't matter how long it takes. Just trust in the Lord. Stay in his word and the harvest will come and it will astound you at its abundance. Amen. Hey, as always, take care of yourselves. Kelly and I love you to the moon and back. But more importantly, Jesus loves you with a never ending forever and ever love. Amen. Peace out. Hallelujah.